Well, there is peace in the air as Air Peace Lagos London flight set to four slashes to foreign airline airfares, you know, pun, pun intended. Uh, air Peace brings peace to the air, as it were. Okay, so we're going to be discussing this with Mr. Olumide Ohuayo, General Secretary, Aviation Safety Roundtable Initiative, and a business analyst. Good morning and welcome to the program, Mr. Ohuayo. Thank you. Good morning. Okay. Now, it's gladdening news from 3.5 million naira to 1.3 uh, 1 or 1 1.2 million naira London Lagos airfare because of the initiative of uh, uh, Airpiece's owner, uh, that is, um, yeah, the Airpiece owner, or Airpiece rather, generally. So, what's your take on that? Let's begin with what this means for the aviation industry in Nigeria. Uh, most of the good morning, and I think um, the congratulations to Airpeace uh, for stepping up uh, to use the reciprocity clause in the bilateral service agreement between Nigeria and the UK. Uh, the the bilateral service agreement has a uh, component of a uh, 21 slot each uh, for the carriers from Nigeria and the UK, and it's a dual designation. Dual designation here means two airlines can come from Nigeria. And uh, that's, what, that's what we find ourselves. But unfortunately, uh, for reasons uh, uh, known to almost all of us, uh, the problems in the industry, Nigeria has not been able to reciprocate since the, since the, the demise of mid mid new airlines, which was the last Nigerian airline that operated into England. So, and what, what has happened, the, the United Airlines made a feast of Nigerians uh, with the fears that were, that were being ruled and turned out. And then that's made, made the, the third country airlines too, that were not going direct, but going through their own co home country also, increase their threat. And it was becoming very crazy. Country the airlines, are you with me? Yes. Country like Air Maroc, Rwanda, Air, Egypt Airlines, uh, Qatar, Emirates, when it was here, they were all feasting on the, uh, real, uh, on the, on the, on, on, on the fears. That uh, was uh, that, that the two British guys had put in the market. So, uh, so I've seen that the benchmark and fixed their own first, and that affected um, the, the the will of Nigerians really travel uh, during the holidays and then call and for other activities outside Nigeria. But then, um, Epis has stepped up now, and on stepping up, you, you can see the reaction. And even Nigerians had already bought tickets on the other airlines, as to go and cancel. That booking, asked for a fund, and they were even happy despite the penalties that were imposed on the phone, uh, on their on their phone that were that they were for the ticket. They felt they made some money buying airplanes, and, and and you could hear the chairman. He said they are fully booked from now till end of September. So for the first time, Nigerians in unison got tired of the fisting, got tired of, of, of the exploitation, got tired of the maltreatment, and said no, we will not be. We will not be paying this. These are people that fly other countries. The same distance, and I say the price difference. Why is Nigeria so expensive? And look at it now. Since they came now, Virgin Atlantic, Atlantic has dropped their tickets from over 2 million now to 980,000 naira. Hmm. From over 2 million for the same trip in, in, in this short period. So it's, uh, we're, we're happy to get that. I'm also looking forward to the second Nigerian airline. We have to have one stop, and the first one stop must be each other. I am always, I'm, I'm a strong believer that it is the capacity that was making fear high. Once there's enough capacity, when there's enough subsist supply to meet the demand, the fears will drop. And I think that's what we should start working towards. Having another Nigerian airline join that route and because of all order by by the service uh, by given that we have, they're not going to utilize now by Nigerian airlines. Yeah, what capacity are you talking about? Because um, the airpiece has said it has ordered so many um, uh, planes to come into Nigeria and continue the services. So, which means they are still operating uh, with the same uh, infrastructure, with the same uh, number of uh, fleet that they had. So, what what capacity are you talking about? One I mean capacity here, yeah. like I said before, the British Airways operates fourteen times a week. Mm. Into Nigeria, Virgin Atlantic operates seven times a week into Nigeria, making twenty-one slots. Mm. Airpiece is only operating five times a week to England for now, so we still have sixteen slots on the slides on on, on slides, Sorry, 
So it is not 16 scores. I'm talking about capacity. Okay. Okay, now, um, is this just business or is something that is sustainable? Because I'll hate to see that, okay, it is happening in one month, two months, it has back to uh, where we were before. So is this sustainable? Well, I have, I have I, 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 you, you, I, like I said, the, the chairman said they already have full booking to September. Yes. Now, if you have full booking to September, if you have fully booked in September, then you are sure that that is sustainable beyond September. Hmm. Now, they, I, I expect I would, they, but I expect that they would have learned from the mistakes of the other Nigerian part of their players who were, who, were in, who were on that route before and use that to uh, navigate through all the schemes in that would, would, uh, come on from coming from both Nigeria and um, the British the British authorities. If we did this interview, the man complained about them asking him to drop about the nine uh, about the ninety about uh, three, three million pounds security deposit at Gatwick Airport. It's going to take three million pounds from 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 the special expenses to get those deposit at the at, at the airport, and he's going to give him back if uh, if uh, after after it stops operation. So if it's if it's going to for ten years, they're going to go the three million pounds. I would give him British Airways and what are going the same treatment at, at, at the Lagos and Abuja airports. Have you asked to get three million pounds in the account of one for security? Have you asked to get the same amount here? Hmm. Also, you know, I, I, he also told you that they, they were taking they were taking to to, to 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 the end of the terminal well, at, at the corner that when you, when you enter the Gatwick Airport, you want to have to be searching for where the stand of airpiece is. The, uh, and the council there was also not working properly. So instead of the strategy that are imposed and pushed on the airline, first to frustrate passengers from flying, flying with them, and also I must have positive passengers from flying with them. The airline, uh, you, you also use that method to delay their departure, delay their, uh, their arrival. And once they start having delays, passengers just get turned turn up. And I think that's, that's what they're working towards. So the uh, they have spoken up, that they need to fight back using whatever uh, avenue, uh, aero politics that is going to protect the Nigerian operator that, that, that is on that route now. Mm. Okay, um, well, let's go back to the very beginning. You've answered uh, this question I'm going to ask you, but for purpose of emphasis, what in the first place caused this exploitation? What gave the uh, opportunity to these airlines to do what they're doing? Because if we don't know what the problem was, we might go back to that problem in the shortest possible time. So what are these problems or what was this opportunity that what, what, what was this thing that gave this opportunity so that we learn a lesson? Uh, we, it's not enough to let, just say Airpiece has done let, this I, and I, that. I think first and foremost, hmm. you have, you have uh, a man who has spoken in their chairman. And what at every point has come up. If, if, you, if you listen to it, if you watch this last video, if, uh, uh, on what happened on the last on the inaugural flight, on return even to Lagos, Lagos is on its country. On the aircraft landing, they, they at the airport here in, uh, in Lagos, they refuse to allow the, the aircraft to park. They ask the aircraft to go to the end of the town, of the, of the runway, to go and park at, at the plane, at, at the red bus, to bring the passengers to the terminal. But the captain on board, we had the DGSA, who, the, the, the DGSA one, but said he was not going to accept that, that, that he can see two fingers free. But behind that, behind that airspace aircraft, there was a British Airways aircraft that ran it after it. So they were keeping that finger for British Airways, not for uh, air, uh, airplanes that landed before British Airways. We were told for British Airways, not for airplanes that landed before British Airways, right in on Nigerian soil. And the man refused to, the man, the aircraft, the, the airplane aircraft left, refused to leave the taxiway. And when the, 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 the and, uh, and the airport and the British Airways aircraft could not park at the airport, that was how they were able to create a space for it. And this kind of utility to you, about you, you, get, you suffer outside Nigeria, you come to your own country again, you suffer. And that has been the bane of the Nigerian airline industry. And it, 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 it maybe that's the reason why people keep shouting for the, or, or aspiring to have a national carrier. Because when you have, when you ask an airline, uh, airline A, to leave Nigeria to any country outside Nigeria, a scheduled aircraft, not charter, a scheduled aircraft, that aircraft becomes your flag carrier on that route. And what is your flag carrier? It deserves all the protection from the government agencies, 
Ministry of Aviation, the Nigerian Aviation Authority, the Ministry of uh, Trade, Ministry of Justice, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Nigerian Embassy. They just designated that airline. But this has not been the, been the case in the past. What has airline is that everybody pulls back and says, look, you go and sort yourself. And in the case of trying to sort themselves, they don't need to get the 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 get high and at the end of the day they are forced to pull out of those and people want the Nigerian airline is not good. See, yes, 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 an airline that's been taking for about seven years and they are just starting. They have been waiting to open into the Itro Airport, the plant airport. They said there's no slot. So some of the hiccups that's always got and I think we need we need to address that. Well, we should not see airports as island. We should not be seen that in the Nigerian flag carrier and all this support must come from the government, public and private, and also the Nigerians, home and abroad. Mm. Um, what do you think was the role of policy in all this? Um, because sometimes we talk about business flourishing when there is a conducive atmosphere for that business to flourish. Do you think a matter of policy has influenced this? And what spe specific policy has influenced this. And then in answering that, if you can recommend some other policies that will make even the aviation industry even better than it has started to be now. You see, the, the, the issue is that when you have the issue of designating an airline obtaining BASA, it belongs to the BASA, uh, BASA belongs to the government and the Commonwealth of the country. Yeah. Now, when you ask an airline owned by an individual to go, you see that people are just the, the both the government, the the, the uh, agencies are the, the, for the body language are not giving full support because they see this is an individual airline owned by oh my one person taking the commonwealth of the country. So I also advise the airlines themselves that there's, there's a need we be when you move from the domestic market, which which can be anybody's prey, and you begin to you want to go to on, go on international and use the bilateral service agreement that belongs to the country. Then you begin to tinker with the ownership and management of that of your of your organization. You cannot continue to be Mr. A airline. You must not you must affect Nigeria. It's either you expand it as a or you go public, or you begin to look for um, institutions within the, within the country to invest and partner. So if you know, you know if the, the, the airline would not be seen as a Nigerian airline. Well, I have been pushing the Fly Nigerian Act for the, act for the past 16 years. And what the Fly Nigerian Act means is that if you are traveling on public forms, on public forms, you must, you are outside the country, you must fly a Nigerian airline. If there's a Nigerian airline on the route you are that is, you are traveling with public funds, not a private funds. You must fly. But you see, at the time when we pushed that policy up to the Federal Executive Council under uh, General Motoba, who was in the Minister of Aviation, what they, what, what they used to shut it down at that Executive Council was so we should carry our money and give to Mr. Rumeni Johnson. After that time, Arik was the biggest airline. So nobody saw Arik then as Arik Nigeria, but it was like Arik Rumeni Johnson. So, I think that's one of the things that has been holding down the progress and expansion of the air of, of, of Nigeria. Again, we are not beginning to uh, in, in the, have a stable Naira, uh, which will also affect the, which will also improve the economy, which will also give investors some um, confidence in participating. Yes, as, the, as, as we are spending investors, we also begin to we may also need to prepare, begin to prepare our infrastructure to accommodate more airlines, increase uh, hours of operation. And happily, the, uh, the, the renewed hope infrastructure fund, that the uh, airport and other available facilities has uh, been listed. So I, I think when, if you do all, all, all that, we would increase investment and uh, have more uh, domestic airlines participating. Okay. So do you see this as an incentive for others to go into the industry? And because we need competition, even though um, Onyema has done this, I mean, even though Airpeace has done this. Uh, at some point, it will become like a, a monopoly. Maybe even if he doesn't want to do that, but you know, when you see that you're alone doing what you're doing, it makes you become like a lord over others. So, I, do you see, I, I, see I, any? I, I agree with the red flag. Yes. I totally agree with you on the red flag. Uh, I feel there's a need for us to have two uh, uh, German carriers uh, that, that would uh, move on the international and uh, intercontinental seen and uh, we already have we already have um uh, them both of them on the on the west coast uh, air and the uh, airpiece and i think um 
but if every every time we will be able to join, or if we just, or if the government uh, can work on the proposed uh, national uh, carrier, I don't want to see that international. I want to see that international carrier, and this you can just be calling Nigerians together who are interested in, in starting the second carrier, and then um, that, that that will also be a way of um, having I agree that the red flag that uh, a monopoly uh, issue might come up, and that would uh, change it. But, uh, if you remember. I think the uh, uh, Epi started this uh, London promo with about uh, seven or eight hundred naira as uh, eight hundred thousand promised, and today it has it has moved to about one point two to one point three million. Hmm. But still, a very um, it's a very good fare compared to what was obtained in the market before. Okay, well, I'm concerned. Not everybody can travel to the UK or needs to travel to the UK. What about the internal flights, the local flights? Uh, do you see this having any effect on the local flights as well? I would want to go home every now and then and take a flight instead of uh, looking for buses here and there. So do you think this will influence the local flights as well? Can you, can you please take that question again? This thing is happening in international flights, uh, the, yeah. specifically the Nigeria-London flight. But do you yeah. see that also having an effect on the local flights as well? Every time there's competition, every time there's uh, capacity uh, constraint or increase, it, it affects the first. If you look at the difference between engine we joined uh, the fray, there was, there was probably the fears on the domestic market was, was skyrocketed. And we knew any NGE could join, and um, uh, you know, even after they joined, I think they suspended that flight about a month. Um, and, and capacity in the, in, the, in the market went down. That increases. But, uh, uh, but as, as we were able to return to operation with about two or three aircraft, the person jumped. I was in Abuja about two, three, three, two, three weeks ago. I paid close to over, over 200 to go to Abuja. But by the time I was in Abuja, and I wanted, uh, a friend of mine called me and said he wanted the same ticket that I, I, I used. But when I went online, I was seeing the same ticket over 130,000 naira. So the, 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 the Nigerian domestic market is robust. Um, um, it, it's growing, and I think it, 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 can, it can only continue to grow if we uh, in, in, improve the uh, airport facilities, if we expand the airport operational hours, and then um, continue to improve security, uh, security and, uh, and the economy, because people must have the propensity to get the, the power, the, the monetary power to buy tickets, you know, to get to, uh, out, 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 out of taking their basic uh, necessities out to, to travel. And again, naturally, it wants to travel. So, we, we, the, the domestic market will definitely benefit uh, from, from what, 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 what is happening now, and I've always benefited because uh, at every time we have airlines who are willing to join the free. We have applications still pending with the Civil Aviation Authority. We have applications still pending. Well, I, my, my organization just wrote to them recently that uh, they should look beyond just the normal registration and start looking at registering uh, uh, low cost, uh, with the, with the, with the, my call low cost uh, in this language. Airlines, uh, small airlines who can run a small, small airport that like Akure to Badon, Akure to Benin or Benin to Portacourt. So, so we need some so, so small, small aircraft. We have made about 10 to 20 uh, seeker uh, um, marks that can take this small, small airport and, uh, and connect them. Because what we have now, I know it's just the trunk airport movement we are seeing. We want to see connection of the small, small airport. So they when they take to, uh, passengers from the small airport to the big airport, the, the bigger ones can take from the bigger airport from maybe from this big airport. And that big airport. So we want to see total connection of the uh, airspace at airports. And uh, the, the process, the, the process is, we have put the application, we have put talking to the regulator that we, we, we need to register a new set of airline operators. And then, and I think the, 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 the data for us, what the, what the market is robust, people, uh, people can, uh, can afford, can see flights and can afford it. There is not more people flying. The number, the, the number of uh, passengers flying in, in, in Nigeria uh, uh, as against the total population is appalling. So we need to move it from the traditional four, 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 four to five million passengers per annum to about 25, 30, 30 million. And you can only do that by ensuring that they are fears that they are that flight at different times of the day and also the, the fears are, are affordable. And not putting all of us down, the security situation are, are pushing people to come and fly. So we should not we should take it uh, uh, we, we must we must comply on this, but not at the expense of um, discomforting or uh, or making the passengers like the uh, uh, foreigners that are done on international roads. 
Yeah, you just said um, we should make sure that the fares are affordable. Who will drive that process? Is it the government's responsibility? Or do you think if there are more uh, airlines in Nigeria, it will just automatically um, make the fares affordable? Who drives the process? That the, airlines, the airlines are not living in Nigeria. They are not in a bubble. They are part of the, the Nigerian society and part of the uh, part of the Nigerian economy. It's what the, is the, is the input that determines the fare. What you have said the aviation fare is going going going, to, going close to about one thousand one one thousand five hundred per liter. And, and, and aviation fare is about 30, 30, 30 to forty five forty percent of uh, uh, um, the airline operating expenses. Who's who's going to pay for that? It is it is it is ticket. It will be a ticket just like every every other mode of transportation. Again, there are taxes and charges. That are crazy that are from government side, government decision that are also increasing. Fear. Let me take you like, look at Ghana. Ghana, yeah. If you want, to, if you want a Lagos Ghana, uh, a Lagos Ghana, Lagos ticket, the taxes for both in Nigeria and, and Ghana, the Ghanaian government is over $320. About $320. Those are the taxes alone. So you multiply that $320 into Naira. Then before the airline adds its add own fare. So, but, but when you walk the counter and, and the airline tells you the, the ticket to Ghana is about 800,000 dollars, you say, what? Ghana, 40, 40 minutes away from here? But look at the taxes alone. Look at the taxes alone. About 300,000 dollars. So what it gets to? Hmm. It's, it's just unfortunate. We, we are hearing uh, the Dangote um, uh, meals will, dang, am I calling it meals, the refinery, uh, will start uh, selling diesel, fuel, everything and all that. And uh, we don't know what the fate of the aviation fuel will be and how soon it can affect the uh, fares or it can affect the aviation industry and all that. But uh, when you talk about a, a new set of airline carriers in Nigeria, uh, are you talking about a new set entirely or an addition to the existing ones? Because you're talking about capacity. That's what you were hammering on at the beginning of this. So how do you, would you describe the capacity of the local carriers um, and uh, how would we improve them? Okay, your, your, your question is in two phases. Uh, let me start with the aviation fuel uh, part. Yes. Now, if you, if you listen to the news recently, uh, the Dangote refinery has uh, started supplying uh, aviation fuel. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I expect that there the the, 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 the should be a slight drop in the share in the, in the, and uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the cost of aviation fuel. And if the regulators in the industry and the consumer protection can um, look at the, uh, at, at the, at the mathematics, uh, they might probably interfere and see if that price can be further reduced. But again, we cannot leave it alone to Dangote, just like we have talked about the APs. Hmm. Other um, modular uh, refining companies that are asking for crude oil within the Nigerian uh, climate should be supplied so that they can also go into the fuel. We, 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 we need to beat monopoly as we're also fighting the menace of the foreign airlines. We also need to beat uh, of, of, the, of the foreign airlines and foreign companies. And how to we also need to we also need to keep monopoly in Nigeria if we do not want to have what we are running from outside inside Nigeria. So if we are able to get aviation fuel at a lower rate, at a lower cost, then the first we talk. Again, coming to the issue of capacity, it's in twofold. As of today, most of the airlines cannot go into leasing agreement because of the dollar rates. So if if if, if, normally, when you, when, you, when, you, when your own capacity is not enough, then you go and list uh, aircraft, bring it in to have more capacity to operate the schedules. But because of that, because of the high, high dollar rate, they, have, they, they, can't, they can't do it. Again, they cannot, they cannot go and, go and uh, maybe buy another aircraft too now at, the, at the moment based on the dollar, dollar, uh, dollar, uh, the dollar rate which they, will use, they will need to service the aircraft or if, if, if they go and process it. So I said to have a Nigerian bank that, that is ready to work on and accepting Naira, then there will be, there will be, that, that, that will might be uh, a reason why I can take this risk. I'll be able to pay in Naira. But again, how many of those banks will be able to do that? And at what risk? Because when, when the interest is, 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 is double digit, you know, it, 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 it makes investment very scary and very risky. So what do they do? They've been asking, they've been asking if, they can, if the government can step with a, with a special. Um, Allocation that will give us a, a single digit, digit rate for some aviation uh, rated um, uh, investments. Maybe if that comes to pass, that was good. But you see, if the market is right, 
if the rate is right, if the ratings is right, because when you discuss with some of these foreign organizations, there's what they call the jurisdictional risk, jurisdictional risk, and that affects the cost of leasing aircraft, it affects the cost of insurance and other expenses because of that risk of your jurisdiction. So if you are able to, if you are able to make, make a law to protect the lessons that once your aircraft come here, anytime you want to take it, you go back. If you are able to bring down the rate, the, the naira rate to the dollar, then you, you will not see more aircraft coming in. And as you see more aircraft, coming, you will not have more money to fix your infrastructure, or you also need to fix your infrastructure and to um, provide the system. Nobody, the aircraft are not, because the aircraft are not like cars. They do not come in and you park them. They must work. And it's not just work one or two hours. There's supposed to be one minimum of about or seven hours a day. So, you can't pack an aircraft you have leased. You can't pack and do you have, you have a loss. It's, 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 the rate is, is per day, whether you use it or not. So, you must use it. And you must use it well, optimally. To begin with, so every, every, every factor comes in. So, we must work on the economy. We must work on improving security. And as we work on the economy, more Nigerians are empowered to fly. And again, we need to look at the taxes. You will, I just told you about Ghana. I just told you about Ghana. We will look at Ghana. I just saw a, a, a ticket bucket of a, of a Lagos, US, Canada, Canada flight. And look at the taxes. You know, it was about the total tax was going from about three hundred and eighty thousand naira, eighty thousand, sorry, three hundred and eighty dollars. Sorry, about three hundred eighty eighty dollars. And about three hundred eighty dollars. Nigeria alone had two hundred, two hundred and forty seven. That's about that's about sixty percent of the total of the, of the total, uh, tax on not on that ticket. And I just told you about Ghana here. Between Ghana and Nigeria, two countries, and you have about three hundred two hundred and twenty dollars. And look at three countries having three hundred and eighty dollars. Something is wrong with 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 the with the grab and high uh, uh, taxation in in, in 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 Nigeria and most of Af most of the African countries. And when when the taxes are, are high, it doesn't come to the airline. They only collect on behalf of of, of those agencies. And the and, and the particular field it goes to the airlines, it goes to those agencies. Hmm. One of your complaints has been uh, the um, the rate of dollar uh, to the naira. What, in your own opinion, it will be um, the most friendly the most friendly exchange rate that can boost uh, whatever is happening in the aviation industry? Well, uh, that uh, I, 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 I think I, I, I will not be able to pin to come out with a figure uh, as, as we speak. But I think what is important to everyone is stability. Once we know that, oh, yeah, the, uh, the, the dollar is, the, the dollar is about, uh, going to be about 1,200, 1,100, everybody can plan. If you, before that, it was crazy. It was moving on a daily basis. Mm. And that made it difficult for people to plan. So people were just, were just, were just taking, they were picking the highest bar as, as, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as, as a time of exchange. But now it's moving down to about 1,200. And I think it's going to stabilize around the, What would it stabilize as a rate? So people will not have the excuse and say, dollar, gross of dollar, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy, my gross of dollar, I'm crazy, my. Stabilize it. Once you stabilize it, people will plan with it. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just take your um, general advice uh, to the people, uh, to government. If you were to advise the government now on on things to do, and the people of Nigeria also on things to do, what would you say as a final word to Nigerians, please? Sincerely, I, I didn't hear that, because there was someone there was another voice running on the background. Please, can you take that question again? What will be your final word to Nigerians, uh, that is including the government as well, as we wrap up on this uh, segment? Well, uh, my, my advice to, uh, to government is um, uh, we should not um, relent, work on continued stability of the Naira. We should also ensure that we empower the modular uh, refineries that are spread across the country to have access to crude oil uh, and uh, to the crude and be, be able to start refining so that, that, that the, the pressure would not, would not have another monopolist in uh, the Dangote refineries. Uh, we also, I, I, I also um, uh, look at um, the, the uh, infrastructure within the industry, uh, both the navigation and the airport facilities that efforts should should be made to continue to improve and expand it. 
Because when you do an expert, you do not know you're already preparing uh, the, 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 not only the effort, but the industry in totality to, um, to embrace it and make use of the facilities. And I want to see the efforts opening beyond this, the, 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 some of, um, most, of, most of the efforts after the international ones that closed at 6 p.m. I want to see the extension of the, of, of, of the opening hours to beyond the 6 p.m., maybe to about 8 to 9 p.m. So there can be more flights. And when you have more flights, when, when there are more flights, you're sure that uh, the, 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 the fears will drop. So that's that's what that's what I want to see, and with that we we'll also work on it on the security. If we, if we can do that and also support with some institutional um, um, guidelines with respect to protecting assets of the of the foreign of the of, of foreign investors, and also the ability to repatriate their funds, repatriate their funds after all taxes and charges of, of the Nigerian government and Nigeria have been paid, those things will help investment and grow the economy. Mm. So thank you very much uh, for your time, Mr. Ohunayo. It was great having oh, you on the show. Thank you for having me. Mm. We've been talking to uh, Mr. Olumide Ohunayo, General Secretary Aviation Safety Roundtable Initiative, and also a business analyst. And uh, we were talking about the fact that Airpiece Lagos London flight is set to force slashes to foreign airline affairs. Uh, well, thank you to the chairman of Airpiece. We're hoping that uh, a lot of other local carriers will come up and we hope that uh, the playing field will be so conducive uh, because of government policies so that so many other players will come into the fray and do what they need to do. When there's competition, the people uh, enjoy. But when there is no competition and there's a monopoly, then the people suffer. We do hope that what has started now will just be the sign of better days ahead. Well, this is how much we can take on the program this morning. We'd like to thank you for your time uh, with us this morning. Let's do it again tomorrow. Until then, my name is Nyambul. I've got you. Bye for now.